He'll want a muffin to go with it. Oh, hello, friends. My name is Matthew Shansky. I'm a potential teaching candidate for East Grand Rapids Public Schools, and you just caught me with my good buddy here, Frank, finishing up one of our favorite children's stories, If You Give a Moose a Muffin. This is one of our favorite stories because I believe it showcases how two completely different people, or in this case, a little boy and a moose, can, through some sort of crazy coincidence, become the best of friends. I love how simple these stories are from beginning to advanced readers. These stories are always fun and silly and just allow for readers of all ages to let their minds wander into this fantastical scenario of what if I give a moose a muffin or what if I give a crocodile a taco or in a real world setting, what if I went up to that new boy or girl at school and gave him a high five or maybe a part of my snack. Um, maybe even though we're... Two people are so different, you know, we're just that one small gesture away from making potentially a new friend that we could get into some silly shenanigans with and have some fun, especially at school where it's needed the most. Also makes a great tool, especially for beginning writers to practice their brainstorming and sequencing strategies as they write their own if you give a moose a muffin and what happens when that sort of thing happens. After graduating from the University of Michigan in 2016, I went to work at an elementary school as a building sub in Kalamazoo called Prairie Ridge Elementary, where I fell in love with teaching. Uh, spending every day there just propelled me towards going back to school at Western Michigan University to earn my degree in elementary education, specializing in mathematics. Uh, through that time, I logged over 300 days of substitute teaching just to further my passion for education and as a whole. I completed my year-long student teaching as the last requirement to graduate last year. In the fall, I worked with a fellow teacher, a co-taught and co-planned in a K-1 split classroom at Congress Elementary in Grand Rapids Public Schools. And then from there, I followed on to my final internship at Harrison Park School in Grand Rapids Public Schools, where I co-planned and co-taught as a second grade teacher for the first couple weeks before my teacher gave me the green light and the reins to go ahead and take over the classroom for those last couple months before COVID struck. I want to teach for East Grand Rapids Public Schools because I believe that that is the place where I will have the opportunities to grow into my best self as a teacher, whether it be you know through athletics or helping out with the STEM program or just being a part of the community that East GR has. A, feel like those are the steps that I need to further my career as a teacher and grow into a great role model and positive influence on our students' lives. Uh, I want to be in a community where everyone is striving to be better and striving for that tradition of excellence, and I believe that ECR is that place. I'm the best candidate for a teaching position in East Grand Rapids Public Schools because I know what it takes to be a part of a tradition or a community that strives for excellence. Uh, I believe as a member of the East Grand Rapids Public School community that I can help lead students towards that goal of excellence uh, through hard work, perseverance, love competition. These are all traits that I learned while pursuing my first and my second degree. Uh, especially my second one, having gone through the whole college experience and deciding that that first that first path I went was not the not the path for me, and that my passion truly lied in teaching. I uh, went back to school and you know sacrificed some things to go to school for a little bit longer, but now I'm doing what I love. Um, I will always strive to be the best teacher and use my failings as fuel for that fire. Uh, reviewing my lessons, figuring out where things went right and wrong. Uh, that's part of that striving towards excellence policy that you need to have, especially at teaching in a great district such as East Grand Rapids Public Schools. Um, excellence in education, my belief, is not always having the right answers, but it's knowing when you don't have the right answers so that you're able to seek out and gain that new knowledge uh, that's what is needed to to meet that that ideal of excellence. And I believe that I have what it takes to bring that to East Grand Rapids and to our students. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Bye.